What's up everyone? We thought we'd do a little tutorial this week with the three biggest mistakes you can make as a whiskey drinker. So you're getting into whiskey. Yeah, you're starting just straight up. You and need you, a jump off. Yeah. You call your neighbor. They don't have the jumper cables you need. You call your cousin. Well, when you get into whiskey, not only are you buying the whskey, but you're buying the accessories. You gotta accessorize yeah, your you hobby. You need a tasting glass. You can't right. just you can't just do it in the oh, daggum Georgia some... National Championship Cup. Glen Cairn got that. But what else do you need? Of course you need whiskey stones. Right. Whiskey stones? Hey, they're they're everywhere. everywhere. It's like, oh, dude. I don't want the water to water it down. I don't want ice to water it down. I'm a man. You know what I think? Or I'm a woman that's very good with high proof whiskey. It may not even be high proof whiskey. It's might just, not. It might just you be know, like, you just, too you rough don't for like, me. You don't like drinking your whiskey warm? You're gonna chill it slightly with some mm -hmm. soapstone. Look at those stones, dude. I think that whiskey stones, <laughs> this is more stones than I've ever held in my life. I think that whiskey stones are a conspiracy by the American Dental Association to get more chipped teeth. Because what I was is the gonna... worst idea? Putting a rock, an actual rock, in your glass and then drinking it. And good lord, son, I'm, I was gonna drink that. I don't wanna just, chip my tooth. Just, just, just. All right, now taste it and just see where we're at. See where we're at. I don't know why, but these rocks, they taste like chalk. These things taste like- You're not supposed to lick them. You're not supposed to put them in your no, no, mouth. No, you, you put, put them it in your whiskey. No, dude, dude, you just saved up for a bottle of Blanton's, okay? And you put that in your glass and you're like, dude, I want it colder, but I don't want ice because it's Blanton's. I don't want to ruin Blanton's, okay? So you put these whiskey stones in there. You put those in there. You wait a second for it to get cool up. You slosh it around. And then all of a sudden it tastes like Chalk. I've never had this experience where it tastes like chalk, but what I can tell you is that- Lick that right now. I just did, it just tasted like nothing. Oh, is that why that's black? Yeah, I licked it. I'm gonna clip that, watch the it over and over. I will also say that I've never had it actually chill my whiskey. I've left them in the freezer for eons of time, and what never happens? The temperature doesn't really drop in the whiskey. It doesn't really have the chilling effect. If anything, these just come back up to whiskey temperature very quickly. They're kind of pointless. And uh, they're given out as corporate gifts, personal gifts, stocking stuffers. Uh, people buy them on their own. Pointless. Right. Complete pointless. Waste right. of money. Right. You just... It's like the pet rock in the 70s. Yeah, you go on Etsy. It doesn't do anything. You go on Etsy and then there's just like, oh, you know these are do? the stones that I picked from my garden that... How's my gnomes? These are super cool. They will cool your whiskey. You need them. That's what happens. You know what you can do though? I love them. You can write numbers on them. And you can... Yahtzee! Oh, they're the same. Yeah, if you're down a dice and you need one in a pinch, do you know why I know these are terrible? Because now all you can really find are the metal ones. You know why? Because, oh, metal <laughs> is probably not going to ruin your beverage and probably distributes cold and hot a little bit better than whatever this is. This is a great pick. I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm gonna pour that in here and now rock me. Rock me, Greasy Deus. Rock me. Oh God, that rocked. You're gonna chip your tooth and you're gonna have a dental bill. Why would you wanna put a rock that can tumble down the glass towards your tooth? Why would ever taste that and tell me that? Nope. That's how that's how I had to stay home. You to can't it. shoot it now. That's another reason why you don't want these things. Because if you feel feisty so for said, about two seconds, chip your tooth. No, I'm saying you will you will you will die. The next big mistake you can make as a whiskey drinker is something everyone tries to do at some point in their whiskey drinking career. Right. The infinity bottle. Right. We don't have an example of one because I, we gave kinda, up on that a long time ago. I kind of do though. Okay. Because everybody's like, oh, dude, it's an infinity bottle. But this is just a decanter, but that's what people use as a yeah. vessel for an infinity bottle. Right. So infinity bottles, people put like 
leftover of other bottles or like memorable pours. Yeah. Sometimes they yeah, put yeah. like a little notch of this date we added things. Dude, this pick was so good. Add it to the infinity bottle. I'm just going to put it in the infinity bottle. Bam. What do infinity bottles do? They ruin good whiskey. Right. Here's the deal. That pick that you freaking loved, let me go ahead and tell you what's going to ruin it. Somehow, some way, Rhetoric 24 is going to ruin it. We added re we added so many good whiskeys to your Infinity bottle. Yeah. It was like it was some exclusive stuff. It was nice stuff. It was it it was all like notably good whiskey. Like you didn't put crap in there. Yeah. And what happened to your I, Infinity bottle? I poured it down the drain because it was garbage. So freaking bad. And here's the thing. There are some people that are like, but I have an Infinity bottle and it tastes really good. You're the exception, not the rule. Right. Haphazardly blending right. things together willy nilly. You're literally is not a good way it. to blend your whiskey. Yeah, and you're literally ruining it. Ruin, ruin. You're literally ruining it for everyone. What you're gonna enjoy more is drinking that last sip of that bottle that you really enjoy yes. by itself in the form that you really enjoyed it in. Not adding it to a progressive dinner of whiskey. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and step on your toes a little bit and say that I've got a freaking series that's all about that. It's called freaking Killing It With Grease. Yeah, you should do, go watch that. You should go watch on that. On this YouTube channel. On it. All right, the final thing. And now this is gonna be for even maybe some seasoned whiskey drinkers. Right. A lot of people, when they get like a decanter, say, do we have any like dusty decanters, yeah. vintage decanters? They're concerned about the lead paint or the glaze that may contain lead in it. How do you this feel is about a, that? This is a Jim Beam decanter <laughs> you... from a long time ago. It's a fox riding a dolphin. Now you say to yourself- That dolphin looks so mad and I wonder why. Yeah, that's where's me. This, where's this porthole at? It's called a blowhole. So people are like, oh, I really want to drink this 100 month old Beam. It's 80 proof. I it's love that they cool used to do decanter. it in It's like, okay, how many, how many months are in it? And you say to yourself, okay, but I'm concerned about maybe the leaching of the lead, so I want to filter it, right? Um, so what can you do? Well, you get yourself a Brita filter. And we actually did this on a Steel Speakeasy episode of our podcast yes. way back in the day. Way so back. So we know what happens. No, Please, let me do this. Do the honors? Now, I will say this. This decanter came for me in a very vulnerable moment. Ty, it was the to magician, us. It was to us. Gallon Beck. No. Yes. It's a hundred percent to me. No. It was legit. Anyway, I have not opened this yet. Even though the, the tax strip has gone the way of the buffalo, I have not opened it yet. The fill level, not great. So I'm not I'm concerned about lead in this. Oh, I mean, oh wait, is this a tw <gasps> the whole time we thought it was a cork. It was a twist top. Does that mean the fill level's decent? Yeah, probably does. Okay, pour it in the bread. Hell, the only way we're gonna find out is if you pour it. Pull, okay, it's actually pretty full. I feel like, oh, okay, we might be pouring a real good dusty in here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Dude, the fill level was crazy. Is that, there's still more. And that oh, strips the color it out. It just looks like daggum, like, oh, this has an apple juice note. Oh, yeah, it because just it looks like apple juice. Strips almost all the color out. It's got a, it's got a uh, cloudy urine um, kind of look to it. Uh, the flavor also will be gone as well. Unfortunately, and I will we say did this, this is the from previous times we've done it, and I will say this. This is a freaking cheap Brita. This is a less less efficient Brita. So clearly. because previously when we did this, this was completely clear. Yeah. Now this is obviously not the color of you whiskey. want. It's, it's no, it, it looks kind of like it's a vodka honey. It's a honey <laughs> vodka. Is that <laughs> what we're gonna call honey it? barrels? Um, it's it's rather gross looking. Um, it's uh, it's not gonna have any lead in it, but it's also not gonna. 
Uh, right. be str- something that you want to celebrate or put in your infinity bottle because the Brita will take the lead out, but it will take all the flavor and fun out as well. You need to try a little sip we of this. Strip the le- we strip the lead out. I'm not doing that. You need to. Have you seen? We've done it before. No, 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 no. I'm not trusting this guy. What did we learn here today, folks? We learned. We learned how to not do it. Don't use whiskey stones. Yes. Do not do an infinity bottle. And don't try to get lead out of your dusty decanters by using a Brita filter. You'll end up with a disgusting mess. And here's the deal, though. You probably got that dusty at what? Like, goodwill? Like, you might want to wash it first. You just don't want to wash it in a Brita filter. All right, folks, if you want more tips and tricks in your whiskey drinking, go ahead and support us at patreon.com slash the podcast. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you next time on the podcast special video.